hi guys welcome back to my channel oh my goodness this video is so overdue i wanted to share a bag that i got a couple months ago in europe and it's part of the louis vuitton by the pool collection i am literally lagging anyway so i have the bag over here this is the Speedy 20 in the rose pink color and it's currently listed for 2710 US dollars on the uh, US Louis Vuitton website. I did get it way cheaper because um, I bought this in Europe. I don't remember exactly how much I got it for, but I think it was around maybe 23 or 2400. And I actually don't have a lot of Louis Vuitton bags, but this one did catch my eye. And my favorite color is pink. And I just thought this was the cutest little casual summer bag to just carry around. And it's also very durable and spacious. So this bag actually comes with a removable strap and it's also in the same color pink and with some chain hardware over here. And the strap can be attached to the side hoops like this. So you can either wear it as a handbag or a crossbody. The strap is around 20 inches long, so you can easily wear it the way that makes you feel the most comfortable. The bag also comes with a padlock so you can lock your zippers together. And the lock is the same as the yellow gold hardware on the bag. And of course, with every lock, there are a pair of keys. The interior is very simple. There is a small pocket inside that fits a card or some small random items. The inner fabric is made with microfiber, so it's so soft to touch. The outside features a gradient color Louis Vuitton monogram on embossed cowhide leather. I was actually really surprised that this bag was made from genuine leather and I actually thought it was canvas at first. Maybe that's why this bag is in particular a little bit more expensive than the regular Speedy 20s, which is around 2000 US dollars. And of course, it being leather, we have to be careful of color transfer. So yeah, I mean, the Speedy has been around for ages. And ever since I was a kid, I always thought these looked like one of those like doctor briefcases, like a doctor bag. But nonetheless, it's still very cute and so roomy for you to hold your things. I'm 5'7", so this bag may look a little bit smaller on me compared to someone who is a bit shorter. The handles are just the right size, so it's easy to carry in your arms. And of course, you also have the shoulder strap option that can turn this bag into a shoulder or cross body bag. I personally do not like cross bodies or shoulder bags, so I never wear it like this. But at the end of the day, it's all up to your personal preference. So what's in my bag and what fits? As we can see here, I have a bunch of stuff despite the smallness of the bag. One thing I love about this bag is it fits so much and it's so spacious. And as always, I will also link the items down in the description box when possible. Okay, so first of all, this is a no brainer here, but it's my hand sanitizer. This one is almost out but I always keep a Touchland hand sanitizer in all my bags. And honestly, there are so many cheaper alternatives out there, but I just really like the packaging. It's easy to carry around and it doesn't leak. I've had those like plastic ones with like the lid on the cap. And I just feel like over time, the hand sanitizer always leaks into my bag, which is so annoying. Second, I have my wallet you guys probably seen this wallet a billion times already um so i won't explain too much but i've been using this for over a year now and i have no complaints it's the cutest little wallet that just holds absolutely everything from your cash cards um coins and miscellaneous items it holds everything even though it's so compact and next i have my mini notebook that i got from Target and it was only like $5. And if you watched my previous videos, you'll probably remember I talk a lot about journaling and you know, just making a gratitude journal. And I actually changed my gratitude journal into this smaller notebook. I feel like back then my notebooks were just too big and too bulky and very hard to carry around, especially when I'm traveling. So I just switched to this like smaller notebook and it's just so easy to carry around and still be able to keep up the habit of uh writing my gratitude entries and next up oh we have this cute little pouch that i got from amazon and even though this pouch is so small it holds so much as you can see here and let me just quickly like 
show you guys some of the essentials that I take around with me almost every single day. Okay, so the first thing I have over here is my Chanel mirror. Isn't this so freaking cute? This was literally sold out the first few days it came out, but I was luckily able to secure a pink one. But yeah, there are basically two mirrors inside and one is like a regular mirror and the other one's kind of magnified. It's just cute to like carry around with you and you know if you need to like touch up or whatever and you know my favorite color is pink so i had to get one in pink next thing i have is oh this is a really cool gadget can you guys guess what this thing is it's not a bracelet it's actually a purse hanger this is one of the most fun little gadgets that I carry around with me nowadays um because i always find myself having to put my purse like especially if i go out to eat i always have to put it you know behind my chair or on the floor sometimes and it's just really uncomfortable so i decided to invest in a little purse hanger and it's literally one of the best purchases i've made but yeah it grips onto almost any surface and it can hold up to 33 pounds of stuff it makes situations where you have to put your bag down so much more easier next up okay i have my tatcha blotting paper i think i got this in sephora a while ago i'm not sure if they still sell it i think they do but honestly any blotting papers work i just bought this one because i felt like it looked really pretty <laughs> i have like a little mirror over there i can see myself i look kind of oily oh man the oil a little bit <laughs> anyway next up i have um just like some random lip balms i have the chappiest lips on earth i do not know why i think i need to drink more water but my lips are just chappy ass it's it's really bad but yeah i just keep some like random lip balms with me i usually keep like an aquaphor with me too but um it's not in my bag right now so i don't know where i put it can you guys guess what this is i feel like this is just like a guessing guessing game show or something this is my little pill box they are mainly just my vitamins i don't take any medication or anything but um they're just like my vitamins and i like to just keep it on me in case i need it because like sometimes when i go travel like maybe i would forget to take like my daily vitamins or whatever and i would realize that i have this in my purse and it's just so easy and this is so small it barely takes up any space so it just makes sense to like carry it around with me and i have like a mini lipstick i love these miniature stuff because like it does not take up any space but it's so useful it's perfect when like your bag is really small small but you still want to carry some makeup with you this is the charlotte turbury uh lipstick and pillow talk i think which is like one of their most famous or popular shades and moving on um i have some band-aids for emergencies i also have a lumi whole body deodorant can you guys guess why i got this yes because it's small i love everything travel sized just because they're so easy to take around when when your purse is small but i really like this deodorant because it's in like the lotion form form and not in like a stick form i feel like whenever i use a stick especially if i use it before like getting dressed if my clothing touches my armpits my clothes always turns color because i feel like the deodorant gets onto clothing and it's so annoying because it's so hard to like get it off and it's just like kind of embarrassing when you have like those marks like when you go out and stuff um and last but not least oh my goodness this is another thing that is literally so cheap but so useful and i've been just loving it uh it's like this little compact travel hairbrush it's like the size of my palm and it also comes with a a mirror and if you push this part out it's also a hairbrush my hair is always like so freaking tangly especially like i noticed when i'm in the car and like i put my head against like the what do you call that the headrest or something and when i get to the destination my hair gets so messy and it's like kind of embarrassing so it's such a good idea to, to keep a little hairbrush with you and this one is perfect because it's so small and if i remember correctly it was only like four bucks or something on amazon which i will also link down below in the description box okay so the question is is this bag worth it and this can apply to all of the other like speedy bags and all different types of sizes honestly to me this bag is not really one of those classy serious formal handbags it's more so casual fun and just an easy bag for day-to-day -day wear so with that being said i rarely take it out to formal activities or formal events 
and I just usually use it for like a grocery store run or errand run because it just works perfectly in fitting all my things uh, when I am on the go. However, due to the limited nature plus the use of genuine leather, uh, the retail price is a little bit higher compared to that of the regular Speedies. So if you get this in the US, plus tax is almost around $3,000 which can be quite expensive and if you're not a pink freak like me i'd say just go with like the regular speedies for example the speedy 25 is literally under two thousand dollars and you know it's still a luxury bag it's cute and goes with any outfit okay so this will conclude my video for today thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video and as always please take care and i'll see you guys in the next video bye